Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Turning with Terry on Monday, occasionally. So, as you found out yesterday, those that were there, Steve is doing uh, hashtag mushroom week. Okay, so we've all got to do a mushroom. Don't like turning mushrooms. Can't stick turning mushrooms. However, did you know that there are thousands upon thousands of mushrooms, millions of different species? So, I'll just uh, bring in a tribe for the day. They are Pete from Twisted Trees, Hi -oh. Brian, Brian, not Mark, and Mark. Who's not Brian? Who's not Brian? Apparently. They'll be helping me out today. Answering Afternoon, all everybody. Hi, everyone. I'll just stick them away in the background again. That's how you're going to see them. Okay, so yes, there are thousands of thousands of mushroom species that come from the mycelium under the ground. If those anybody is interested in mushrooms, there is several books on them. I do have one of them. Mushrooms. And toad shrooms. Shrooms. And as you can see, there are millions upon millions, millions to choose from. Today, I'm going to attempt to do that one. Mm. The wood blew it. Or the field blew it. Whichever. Oh. oh. Fancy. Fancy, eh? Just to let you know, that is an edible one. Common edible species. So, on the lay today, we have a piece of timber. This is ash. It's a bit long, so I'm going to put a tenon on it, cut it in half, and start. So, while I do that, I'll leave you to the capable hands of my college. Who's going to do it, then? You are. Oh, okay. You right, oh, okay. By the way, if we, before we start, can I just uh, say this? I may... I may, I may be using the skew chisel. <gasps> could be you my so new dumb. skew chisel. Oh, my new golden way. Golden way skew chisel. I've been swearing and cursing at him for the last four years. Tried it hours. once. It does work very well indeed. So we'll see how we go. I'm not. I'm not oh, insanely. You going to get one. He's going to get that one too. I'm not insanely <laughs> jealous at all, everyone. <laughs> not, not, not even slightly jealous. No. No. Oh. Right. Maya. Here we go. People in the chat. Welcome along, everybody. So we've got Darren Callison, Beat Sidin, Brian at Hardwood Turning, Lawrence Bagaja, C3 Purposing, uh, Doug Miller, Lawrence Bagaja, Terry Bartlett, Malcolm Douglas, uh, Chris Dodds, Ruby Clare, hi Ruby. Trevor P, Hobby Turner. Then we've got <coughs> who else is here? Paul Hewton, the Greasby Turner. Robert Dolman. Uh, Michelle Usby's in. Hi, Michelle. How are you, darling? Oh, so nice Michelle. to see you. Michelle's in trouble, I believe. And, uh, Rob C P Wood Turner. Uh, hi, Rob. Uh, Andy H is returning. Don't stop typing, so keep stops moving. <laughs> Richard <laughs> Feeling's in. Keep up, Mark. For goodness sake, keep up. <laughs> Woodburn Paul's in. That's Richard Feeling, by the way. Richard Feeling, sorry. Uh, yes, I think of Eric Winkler. I think I've got everybody. There we go. Rob Robertson's just joined in. Hi, Robbo. Hi, Robbo. How you doing, buddy? Hi, hello, everybody. Really? Everybody. Welcome. Welcome to... Occasionally turning with Terry on Monday. channel today. <laughs> occasionally. Sometimes, sometimes occasionally turning almost. <laughs> it's when he feels the urge. As you see, I'm parting this off. It's a bit long for uh, doing a mushroom. Chris from Bailey Woodworks is here. Hi, Chris. Right. Hey, Chris. I'm gonna... Just going to saw that off on the bandsaw two seconds. And, and Pete's with us today. So Pete had a lot of adventure at the weekend. Yeah, I went and got drunk in a field. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. Not drunk in the field. Perfect. Michelle says, hi, <laughs> Pete, Mark, and him. Well, hi, Pete, Mark, and him. Hey. That's you she's talking about, Terry. I guess so. You ain't like it over to you, Michelle. Yeah, when we weren't getting drunk in the field, we were out riding the bikes. We had a fucking ride. We were Excellent. in Wales for an entire weekend, and it didn't rain. It's amazing. Uh, no, no, that no, that's no. I don't believe that. that no, yeah, you must have been. Strange. You must have been very, very drunk. <laughs> oh, oh, possibly quite lost because we were most of the time. Well, that's good then. Eric Winkler's in, hi, Eric. And so we're I turning by Barry. So, sorry, what was that there, Mark? We're turning by Barry, is it? Hi, we're turning by Barry. So uh, I was up at the horses this morning, guys. And I came back down. This is why Michelle's in trouble. Because uh, when I came back down from the horses, she says, Are you earwormy today for the Hobbit? Me? I'm just for a nine, you know, <laughs> nearly. <laughs> it's just you lanky lot, that's all it is, really. It's just you. you I, almost, I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> you fall off your chair, all right. <laughs> Right, oh, so yeah. for those that don't know, has just joined us, or we're a bit late. I'm doing a mushroom today, taken from this book on mushrooms. Okay, and we're doing that one. This is the what's it called? The wood blew it. Apparently, it's very common between November and December, or the field blew it. Very common in Europe. So I thought I'd do that one. It's got a so bit of colour in it. I was going to say, are you going to colour said mushroom then? Yeah? I probably am going to colour said mushroom. So, here we are. Back to that suppose one. I to, suppose oh, I need to go and buy a book now so I can look up a mushroom. Well, you don't have to buy the book. It's, uh, but it, oops, just dropped my book on the floor. You don't have to buy it. But as it's downloaded from the internet, don't, don't doubt, you know, the pictures, as Steve did yesterday, the different shapes. But there are thousands upon thousands of different species. Some uh, poisonous, some not. So, there we are. Very good, Terry. We'll continue. The common field, oh no, the common wood blew it. The <laughs> field blew it. That's it. That's sounds, what we're doing. Sounds a bit explosive, this mushroom. Yeah. Karen Dolman's in. Good afternoon, Karen. And Brent Beaker. Right. <laughs> Did you see that not everybody or not? <laughs> what were both just asked a very valid question. <laughs> yeah. He says, Terry, what, what size box do you stand on to reach the lathe bed, please? I don't stand on any box. Cheeky toe rack. <laughs> look. Look. Standing on the floor, look. Look. Standing on yeah. the floor. Yeah. What he's not telling you is that that little grey platform there is about eight inches tall. He's hey. not letting it away. <laughs> Brilliant, Paul. You win the chat today. So far, uh, okay, Paul, um, so far, Ben Jam is not in, is he? <laughs> no, he's not I here. Had yet, a, no. a quick go on Mark's lathe a few weeks back, and I thought, blimey, that's low, because it's about four inches lower than my lathe. Um, Terry has the same lathe, but he's taken the feet off the bottom to make it even lower. I took the feet off the bottom of mine. <laughs> yeah, I had to I have to move the tail stock back a bit, a minute, and take out the elbow stabber because oh. that's. Gonna... Hurt. <laughs> yes, I did. Have to, well, the feet are only Brent about Beacon. three inches high, so you know. Brent Beacon, well, you're, there, you're, Brent. Your feet are three inches high. No, no, the feet, the feet of the lathe. Oh, all right, okay. Felicity WT is here. Hi, Flick. Hi, Hi Flick. <laughs> Cheeky oh, toes. Dear. Cheeky toes, a lot of you. <laughs> yep. Toe stools. No mushrooms are doing this week. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm not uh, into mushrooms really. Don't like the things. Don't like turning them. Don't mind eating them. I like them. eating them. Eating them's okay. Yeah. yeah, I like eating them. I don't like turning them. Right. I'm doing so. I'm doing something you... quite special on on Thursday. So, make the mushroom bath is always worth having. You're absolutely right there. Softly fried and a little bit of garlic with some butter. Yum yum. Very nice. Yeah. Dan has said a woodworking question here. Beautiful shavings, Terry. Thank you. That's all, almost woodwork related. Hold on a minute, guys. What's going on here? Somebody's actually... Oh, Eric Winkler question. 
Eric comes to the rescue with a non woodworking question. A non woodworking uh, question? Uh, question, question. Brian, I started jogging on a treadmill and I was so tired after 20 minutes that I did not shut it off. So it was another 20 minutes. <laughs> it was another 20 minutes before I fell off. Trying to work it out. <laughs> and finish my exercising. Mm, okay. Oh, sorry. I'm on the wrong one, am I? Yeah. yeah. Better if we can see Move the button further back. That's because you all wanted me to. Uh... Well, most treadmills have a safety switch. You just pull a little toggle and off it, and it comes in and it stops anyway. So if you were stuck on it, it's your own fault. We are. We need the tiny. Oh, no. We have uh, no, no. Oh, that one there you want. No, Crafts La Landy, first time watcher. Thank you for the link. Sid. Uh, who's this? Who's this? Thank oh, Crafts yeah. Landy. Welcome along. Welcome, welcome along. Welcome along. to the channel. Hope you enjoy welcome yourself. Enjoy the show. You don't have to be mad to be here, but it does help. It does help. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely does. I was probably compulsory. Well, it's not quite compulsory yet, Pete, but we're heading in that direction. <laughs> Any more that down this way? So this is kind of like a reverse mushroom, then, Terry. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. The undercut, the undercut is on the top. Yeah. The undercut, the undercut's an overcut. Oh, look, Shirley. she's in. Shirley's in. Hi, Shirley. Shirley. Shirley of the Cuddly Wuddly is in. Hi, Shirley. How are you doing, girl? <laughs> and Sid's repurposing it, Sid. Yeah, you don't really have to be mad. Training is supplied. <laughs> Training is supplied. Hang on. Let's just see where Training is provided, there. he says. Training is provided. Uh... Yes, I think it's a bulk out there. I think it's a bit. Uh, I think everybody in the woodworking woodworking community is a little bit bonkers. See, what I know about um, wood turning mushrooms is, mm -hmm. first of all, if you're a drinker, it's a bad idea because <laughs> they can look quite delicious and they taste horrible. <laughs> if you're selling at craft fairs. Mostly it's women who buy them, and they're mostly buy the phallic ones. Of Which course. I if you need one, but I don't see the point at the moment. And for some strange reason, they do sell. I don't know why. Don't get it. Well, they obviously do sell. There's no date. They do, yeah. They sell very well. That was a nice cut. Thank you. I thought we were going to see the skew here. Well, it's easier to do it this way at the moment. All right. The speed you're going, you'll be turning more than one. I may well, well be. What have you got to do with it? Let's see the skew in action. Get the skew out. Yeah. Skew, skew, bind of a groove. It's a bit short, really, to get in there with it, to be honest. Actually, I need to need to get this down a bit. So Robert Dolman has just suggested that uh, Shirley should check the lyrics for Blinded by the Light, Manfred Mann. Oh. Blinded by the Light. I remember that song. Not to get a cut uh, with they that. They really. to the Cuddly Woolly. Now, the wood bluet mushroom is normally thicker at the bottom as at the top. Thicker at the bottom than it is at the top? Yeah. And it all yep. comes, basically, they all come from one tiny little pinprick of a bud. All mushrooms. Or all fungi. You're such a fungi. You're such, such a fungi, and I? Okay. Let's go for a mushroom pun day, then. No, that's not... Let's go for it. Yeah, let's do it. So basically, it's a goblet, isn't it, really? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's just yeah. an open stem goblet, basically, yeah. This is. 
Sorry about the noise, guys. I was trying to get my uh, chickens chuck out. And they all extend from, like I say, this tiny little pen prick of a bud called the Volva, believe it or not. Ben Gelman's in, Terry. Hello, Ben. He says, ooh, Terry has a new call and we skew. He does. Yeah, he has. He's been showing off for about three days now. We're sick looking at it. Yeah, first time I've seen it. It's the first time you are, but then you've been away all weekend being drunk. Yeah, so. So, with Terry being the richest of all those pensioners. The richest, yeah. Are oh. you going to go and get the um, Ashley Isles and do a comparison? I oh. probably am, actually, <laughs> to oh. be honest. I Do probably am. Does Ash Dales make one that shape? No. They make no. the... Uh, Can't the get in with that one. Rounded edge nice. one. Yeah, a nice rounded edge one, yeah. And I am tempted by both, but I can afford one. Yeah. I'm tempted by both and can't afford any of them. Because I'm only a poor pensioner. Well, like, that's not a problem. You just get Mark to buy it for you and, and just, it just happens. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle says, Terry, Terry, Terry. It's Michelle. Did it cost twelve ninety nine? Uh, no, this was cheap. I got it for eleven ninety nine. Oh, perfect. But I'll have to get one of them, then. When the plan works. I'll have to get one of them. That's what it normally looks like. Is that a limited time offer that um, Brian's going to work quickly on? Oh, it's a limited time deal, is it? Oh, dear. Ah, yeah, you, right. Yeah, you, you need to get your order in quick. Uh, are, we, are we leaving those raggedy bits on the stem, yeah? Is that we how, are. Kind of, how, kind of how it looks. That's the way they come out from their... Yep, yep. ...bulba, et cetera. Very good. There we are. So far. Right. Bit of sand in. Yes, Don, we do mean they're only 12 <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, they come in three sizes, twelve ninety nine each. You know, as all always, all, turning tools cost they're, exactly the they're same. They're all signed. Look, they're yep. all signed. Colwyn Way. Yeah, they all cost twelve ninety nine, particularly when your wife is watching. Yeah, is she watching? <laughs> I don't know if she's watching. Is she? Yeah, mine is. Mine is. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> I guess that. Okay, so now we have to find my paintbrush. All right, Michelle, I'll tell you how much they really cost. Oh, yeah. you stupid, you You better not, mister. <laughs> so, rabbit. I'm looking for a paintbrush here. Which... Friends, friends like you who need enemies is all I can do. Shell, that Saturday evening, you pour me a large gin and tonic, uh, a uh, cube, and I'll tell you everything. He's right. a worry. Uh, He's I, a worry have, Brian. I just have to educate you right here and right now, Mr. Beckett. You come and visit my house, nobody pours your drink for you. You get off your arse and you get it yourself. It's, this is, uh, uh, okay. you, know, you just have to take it at your own home, you know. I don't keep, I'm not looking after you. Um, <laughs> see what's kind of that. We'll make, we'll make you your first drink. After yeah, that, Michelle, Michelle, you know, Michelle might show you where the drink is. You seem to remember Michelle bringing you drinks quite often. Yeah, but that's because I'm uh, special. Yeah, special, special is the word. Special is the word. Right. Now, has anybody ever used Halford's clear lacquer before? Yeah. Has it, has it got a rattly thing in the can? Yeah. Yeah. Or lacquer You sure? Yeah. 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 Well, well, this this one hasn't. <laughs> it has. You just need to shake it a lot more because it's stuck in the bottom. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got two cans of Halford's clear lacquer. I'm going to stick it in the bait, so I'm going to stick it on the lathe in a minute. And they haven't got rattly things in either. <laughs> well, perhaps there they don't are. need them. I'm going to sand this because uh, it's a nice cut on it, so leave it as it is. Ruby, Cla Ruby Claire is asking you, what are you applying, Terry? I'm applying intrinsic colours, water based intrinsic colours. This is Plum from Hampshire Sheen. Reasonably dry brush. Um, 
because I don't want it too dark. I'm gonna play quickly, obviously. No, there's no uh, ball in these teams. How do you know? Because I've been shaking it vigorously for the last couple of minutes. There is somebody bawling at it, though, isn't it? <laughs> no, I, I am. I am. I am shaking mine vigorously. No, this is. I'm sorry. I'm going to rephrase that. I'm shaking my can of lacquer vigorously. Good man. Yeah, it's just a five hour hour to start rattling. <laughs> it's not rattling. And this yeah, is just a piece of. Actually, look <laughs> at the wrong colour. Ben Jammer has just said, "Now that you're a fitness, or you're on your fitness nonsense, nonsense, nonsense." Does this mean that no curly whirly with your cup of tea? I don't eat curly whirlies, man. I eat hobnob biscuits or digestive biscuits. Too much on there. Then not very often. It's it's uh, surely that loves curly whirlies. So Brian, Dan says, stand in warm water first. That'll free it up. If you stand in warm water whilst you're shaking it. <laughs> <laughs> Will that help? No. And and then get on your your um jogging machine and strap it to your arm while you're doing that. Could I just use could I just use my uh could I just use a blowtorch, heat it up a bit? Yeah, you can do that. Do what you could do. You could lay it down on your treadmill, start your treadmill, and let it just sit there and rotate on its own. I think, I think what I might do is uh, uh gaffer tape it to my chuck. And spin the lathe up. <laughs> and Eric says you've got to fit a tap onto the side of your table. If this can, because I'm doing that, if this can explodes. <laughs> we'll all laugh. Yeah, exactly. Shirley says, I don't particularly like curly whirlies. I just like it when Brian says it. <laughs> curly whirly. <laughs> Thanks, Shirley. Doesn't work. There isn't a ball in here. I'm sure there isn't a ball in here. Mm. Well, you see, the problem is I, I've been spraying this, this uh, little surprise I got for you on Thursday. Um, and it's had about five coats and it's not shiny. No, it's probably matte lacquer, just check. Mm, it, don't tell me. it says clear it lacquer. Shiny. It's because all the, the lacquer stuff is at the bottom of the can sticking the ball down and all you're spraying on there is <laughs> thinners. <laughs> Gee. Gee, thanks, yeah. Pete. Yeah. Gee, <laughs> thanks, Pete. Now, we'll try it again. Just, no, I don't think there's a ball in this. This colour's forest green for the bottom. Um, there's some, a ball in there. So it's nice and shiny when it's wet. Not much. Uh, let me just... Um, I'm not shaking. Anyway, good dog, but let me just clamp this uh, tin of lacquer in my jaws and we chuck. Yeah, screen it up. Spin it at 2,000 RPM. That'll free any ball up. <laughs> don't do that Christmas, at home. Yes, don't do that. Be, it might be hairspray. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doug Muller suggests there may be a magnet in the bottom of the can. That looks brilliant, Terry. It does. Just cool it down a bit. Let that dry oh, off. Here as well. Have you, uh, have get, you get the ball moving in the bottom of a can show? All right. Can't be, can't be. Now, um, I'm just going to use some of this Parkside clear lacquer. Can you hear the ball running, everybody? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound, isn't it? <laughs> that's how it's supposed to sound. I'll just shake this ball in this, in this lacquer tin, Brian. I have one of those two. But it's not Halfords, it's Parkside. The Halfords one doesn't well. So if it hasn't got a ball in it, it can't be called a rattle can, can it? No. Well, that's what I said. It didn't say it's a rattle can, it just says it's clear lighter. Well, perhaps it doesn't need one. I don't know. I don't know. Baby Books is asking, just how old is that can? Mine. I can't, I can't answer no, that. Brian, the runs, yeah. I can't answer that in the grounds. I might incriminate myself. <laughs> I'll turn the speed right down for this. What it's camera? Right. The right camera.
I just don't have a cup of coffee for you. Well done, you. Okay, check the production numbers on the cans, and there may be a problem with the cans. Maybe they neglected to put a ball in it. Right, that'll do for that one. Let that dry off. I'll give it a couple more coats. Easy. Probably go in the bin afterwards, anyway. I think Trevor Peace sussed it. Perhaps it's lacquered. It's lacquered. It's yeah, lacquered. It's <laughs> I just spelled it. Like yeah, absolutely right. Just spelled with a K. <laughs> it's, it's nearly dry. Oh, lacquer smells nice in this warm, heated. Billy Rupert says lacquers, lacquers. Looking good and well mixed there, Terry, I've got to say. Lionel's in. Good afternoon, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. Welcome, welcome to the Rattle Can Show. The Rattle, Rattle Can Show, yeah. Welcome to the madness. This is a brand new cafe. <coughs> Blimey. We're going to like her. Turn on the old dad. Hang on. Take some fumes away. Right, leave that alone, Nick. Quick support of that. Leave it alone. It's still a bit damp, but there we are. I'm not worried. That looks absolutely fabulous, Terry. I have to say. I'm not going to bother to part it off now. Just uh, there we are. That's one. Super duper, mate. Super duper. Twenty-seven minutes. How many? 27. Oh, okay. You've, you've another half hour to go, so get another one on there. So that is yep. the Wood Bluet. I won't tell you the Latin name. So I can't pronounce why can, it. Why can you not pronounce it? Uh, Pista Nuda. Nuda meaning naked. It's the naked wood mushroom. Okay. Next. Pick another one. What Pick another now? one out the box. I'm going to make the box. <coughs> so we've got 48 watching, Terry. Lovely. Thanks for coming in, people. So. And according to my screen, there's only 18 thumbs up. There could be. Yeah. There could be. Thumbs up in there, guys, and if you're enjoying what Terry's doing. You've all, uh, well, as I say, in this little book here, I've got thousands of the things. I did go out. There's the favourite one that the ladies buy. Stomach fungus called Phallus empedicus, commonly known as the stink horn. Ooh. And for those in the group who, if I can just find it, which I thought was quite good, there we are. How about... Uh, Cyclobe semilacinita, semilacinita, commonly known as the Liberty Cap, the Liberty Cap, or the magic mushroom. So, we'll do a magic mushroom, shall we? Go ahead. Go ahead. Perfect. Have a magic mushroom. Down a bit, down a bit, I'm down a bit. Just going to try, just going to think how I want to do this one, though, because it's a very thin stem. <gasps> with, I mean, a very thin stem. Do, do, do. Lawrence is asking, is the varnish you were using cellulose or acrylic? It's a cellulose varnish. Dries in a few minutes, isn't it? It's probably dry by now. Uh, right, so we'll do these. This is more like a phenionist, it's going to be. Magic mushroom. More, That's more nice. like a phenio. Well, yeah, because it's going to be a tiny little cap. Yeah, it's just with. <sighs> ben Jones says, how, how, about an off, how about an offset mushroom? Um, so Off or turning for a mushroom. Mm. Yeah, I could do. Think about I've it. Done in off center turn of radius. Just trying to speed up a bit. Whoop. 
Right, we're going to do it with the head that way, or the tail that way. Do, 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 do. Difficult to say. Um, I think I'll try. I'll try it with the spindle out. So it's going to be a nice thin spindle, and the head the other way. Probably not going to last very long, but there we are. Right, so we need. Steve Clary has joined us. Oh, gouge for this. Good afternoon, Steve. How dry or wet is this wood, Terry? Pardon? How dry or wet is this it's, piece of wood? It's uh, nearly bone dry. I've had it for about two years. It's only three inches across, if that. Uh, okay. Nearly. I, probably, I haven't measured the moisture content. The cap is going to be there, so take that down a bit. Right, what should we do now? Should we use our Colwyn Way skew? Should we try that? Where's it gone? Just drop that mark. Anybody seen this before, by the way? This is a, this is the new skew from Colwyn Way. Oh dear, what a shame. Yeah. No, you mark. haven't seen oh, that, Mark? Oh. <laughs> 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 is, that, is that the new? Is that the new cold Oh, yeah, it's not going to like it, is it? It's getting too thin for this huge, great, huge, great skew. I'm going to use that. It'll end up busting it. It'll end up breaking piece. it. Like I will get it down a bit and carry on with this. Did we say Steve Fleming was in? We did. Just two Not minutes sure. ago, I said that. You obviously weren't listening as usual. No, I was busy sending you a message instead. <gasps> well, no. I better read it then, eh? I think I'm just coming down to the pith, to be honest. <laughs> Are you taking... No, I'm not going to do that joke. <laughs> so you should have gone off centre, it wouldn't have been a problem then. It wouldn't have been, would it? No. But I wouldn't want to be turning this bit off centre. Ben Chalmers says, can anyone, anyone else smell the wood when watching light? Or is it just me? Smell the wood. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Mm. It's just you, Ben. It's, I think that's just you, Ben. Yeah, I think it's just you, Ben. <laughs> I, I, you haven't been anywhere near Magic Mushrooms by any chance, no? Well, is there one now? I'm in actually a little bit closer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that may just be you, Ben. Just I think I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. It's a bit strange. And Don has suggested maybe we should do a multi-axis offset just for the challenge, Terry. 
So that's using um, a parting tool for the undercut, yeah? That's just using a parting tool there. <laughs> See what that looks like as it's uh, the shape of the mushroom as it opens up inside. That's, that's looking too, quite yeah. good. Yeah. That's looking quite good. Happy with that. Okay. Says three purpose, he says, just look at those ribbons. Ben, can yeah. you smell numbers? Can you smell what? I'm just asking Smith. Ben if he if he can smell numbers. Don't laugh, it's a thing. It's a thing? Yeah. Some people can can smell numbers. They see a number yeah. and it triggers up a, a, a smell. Or a, or a fact or a factory response. Right. That's a fancy word. Or a factory response, you mean a smell. It triggers his nose. Yeah. I'm working a bit close to the end of this tool, Russ. I don't want to be really, but I can't get yeah, much that's... further over. It's like some people associate some colors with numbers. Wait, 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 wait off. So if you're moving your tool rest, guys, it's advisable to switch uh, your tool rest, your uh, lathe off, and then move your tool rest. Okay, I'll tell Terry off now. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. I knew somebody would say that, Dan, if you just had to be you. <laughs> What's he Darren saying? Said, Darren says, I can usually smell number twos. Yeah. Yeah, gonna... somebody had to say it. <laughs> I had a whole bar of Cadbury's chocolate yesterday. Did you, what, did, did you eat that one after your... Yeah. Ah, I was talking. Did you eat oh. that one after your... Uh, or yeah, after, run or whatever? After, after my dad from my run yesterday, I sat down and Michelle... I said, Michelle went to the shop. I said, bring me something nice there. You know, expecting something. I don't know what I was expecting. But I got a one pound bar of Cadbury's dairy milk, which I proceeded to eat in one sitting. Just a piglet. Well, that's not bad, but you were expecting a cold and whiskey, of course. But... Yeah, that would have been something nice. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She, mind you, she was only going to the spa shop, so I don't know what I was expecting. Well, if you walk, if you go further, just to get this golden way skew for you. So Ben, ben is trying to justify himself now. He says, but it's like when you see the photograph of a wet dog, you can kind of smell a wet dog. True. So like that, but only with wood. Yeah. yeah yep. I suppose <laughs> a visual image can, tri can, can trigger a, a smell of memory. Of course it can. Why not? Smell has well, a really powerful... Sorry, Matt. I'm trying to shape this as the magic mushroom, which has got a little, a little dimple on the top. Have you got a dimple on the top? Yeah. Uh, Brian, Steve Fleming's asked uh, how you, asked me how your chest set's coming. I have no Can idea. Mark is, refusing to, Mark is refusing to start making it until I start <laughs> paying for it. And that's not happening. Brian, Brian, Brian won't pay for it till it's made, and I won't make it till he's paid for it. So... We're at an impasse. <laughs> Any excuse then, are we, really. Are we, yeah. are we, Brian? There is an impasse. That's right. <laughs> I ain't paying for my full receipt. And it's an impasse that we're both quite happy with. Yep. <gasps> He's going to call my bluff one day. He's going to pay for the bloody thing. Uh, no, I'm not. Gonna have, then I'm going to have to make it. Then Pete's going to have to go over to Ireland and teach him how to play. Yep. What only have to no, no, me a no, uh, no, I'll get lessons from Michelle because he's far too expensive. Ryan, did you yes. just say your wife's cheap? You did. You did just no, say I that. I said he was publicly. cheaper than you know. He was implying that anyway. You just cheap. said Michelle's <laughs> cheap. <laughs> cheaper How than you. How very dare you? How very, very yeah. dare me. Hmm. Yeah, Rob has said it's a catch 22. Yeah, it is absolutely a catch 22. It's a Mexican standoff. <laughs> or Darren has suggested we could start a chess set crowdfunding. No, we don't need to do that. <laughs> he don't want to pay for it, and I don't want to make it. So the situation is quite happy the way it is. 
Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay. Isn't that sweet? That is a quarter yeah. cent book. You, you need to put and it down a wee bit so as we can see it. Oh, down a bit. Down a bit. There we go, that's it. And the book. Down. There we go. Oh, like, oh I see the little nipple on the end now. Yeah, there we <laughs> are. <laughs> Brian said nipple. <laughs> well, that's what it is. So it? that is the common name is the magic mushroom or Liberty Cap. If you eat Liberty. those, you'll be cooking on gas and electric and campfire all in one go. Or as high as a kite one, let's say. Or as high as a kite, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any much else it's I can do. Is... Let's have a look here where we go. Uh, mm. Robo says, not a dimple, a pimple. A pimple. Yes. That's it, Robo. Um... We've got enough time to do another one. So we'll look. That's what that's yeah. what I said. That's a bit of older. So yeah. Try that. Yeah, that one. That one took you all of thirteen minutes. That one, down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'll try to sit down. Slow down. <laughs> you're right. going too fast. You gotta make a good time last. Right. So now we are. We, me, yeah. I, I am. I'm going to put the centre back where, in again. Where, where, where's where's our Joe today? Glenn's going away, isn't he? So, oh, I Glenn's off. He's probably, his uh, he's off on his thing. Oh. He's high I, um, on his motorbike today. Yeah, Terry, may I pop Lincoln for my life tonight, please? Oh, yes, please. Mark's got his link going in for, for tonight. Don't forget, people, he's doing a mushroom. No, I'm not. Not yes, mushrooming he his head for that. He says Change he's not doing a mushroom, quickly. but he is really. He is going not, to do a mushroom. Yes. Doing a yes. huge That's, mushroom. That's definitely not. <laughs> Chicken. Is is all in this one. I can say. Uh, That's ridiculous. Get in the middle of this timber if I can. That's about it. Oh. Well, Darren, Darren says you can use the off cut as a base. So multi-axis offset on this one then. Multi-axis oh. offset, yeah, right. Hang on then, let me get me hammer and make dimple multi-offset. So let's, where are we? What camera are we on? Um, let's change to that one. There's our middle. That'll be our offset. <laughs> ben, I've never said that. So I wish everybody would stop putting words in my mouth. Where's our offset there? Our offset there? Or we'll put Wait, three what did you say? Ben said, mushrooms are too simple for me. I'm a pro. No. Literally, the real reason I'm not doing a mushroom, folks. Steve did done one yesterday. Terry's done one now. Do you really want to see third live <laughs> in a row with somebody doing a mushroom? No. It's no, boring. he says, no, 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 no. Well, let's, let's well, let the chat... Let, no, 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 let's let the chat decide. Do you want to see no. a mushroom or do you not want to see a mushroom? <laughs> you, you choose. No. You're you under choose. the illusion. It's, you're under the illusion. It's democracy. It's not. I'm doing a twice turn bowl tonight. Come on, that a maybe? No, Actually, it's <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> positively not. Is that a Maybe. I will turn a mushroom in my own time, take a picture of it, and send the oh, picture to Steve. That's, that's really serious. Because I don't, don't see three lives, no, three mushrooms back to back, as being interesting for people. Well, I didn't that's see the only Steve, simple uh, reason. I didn't see Steve show yesterday, so I can't turn a mushroom because I don't know what it is. <laughs> no. Well, you can't anyway. You haven't got the internet. That's true. I don't have the internet anyway. So. You know, you'll be turning a mushroom, right. Dewey. Don't be backing out now, Pete. You'll be turning a mushroom. How can I back out? I was never in. You I'm are in. in. Yes, you are. Chris, You're in. Chris, no, I haven't seen the, I haven't yes, seen the show. You're in. <laughs> I, I've, just, I've just made you part of the group. You're in. Chris, you, you're, you've, hit it and you've hit the nail on the head. We saw three ones in a row. And we've seen the figures for those three shows. Then they're well, rubbish. You've also just yeah. seen three mushrooms in a row on this show. So. Yeah. You've just seen three. There's only so many mushrooms people can take. Right. Matt has said, just give in, Mark. Nope. 
Next seat, Billy with Rock's mushroom. Sergey Robson mushroom. Darren Carlson mushroom. Okay. I don't want to. I'm too thin if I'm going to multi access, do I? Hmm. They so, won't be there anyway. A a four in the morning for them. They won't, they won't be there I'll watching. Be there. No, I know you will, but you'll be aware of it. Oh, I saw him. I forgot about that. Mark. Okay. Yeah. I'm setting my alarm for really early next Saturday just so you, you drive you to the airport. And I'm saying, don't turn a mushroom. Thank you. Ooh, listen to him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, see why the shape comes out later. Sure I'm really disappointed. Tight. I'm seriously disappointed now. I turn mushrooms every single day at the shop. I don't want to be doing a mushroom. What are you doing, mushroom for? Bored listening now. Bored listening now. Oh, Pete, what time did you say you were setting your alarm? Um, really early. Yeah. Because it's about two hours before I have to set mine to pick them up. Bristol Airport are insisting we be there two hours before the flight. Bloody hell. So we've got to be there. Uh, do you need to get up at half past four? Half <laughs> four. <laughs> okay, I just, want, I just want to go to bed. So I normally go to bed by half past three, so... Um, yeah, it's not a problem, mate. Not a problem. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> it's not a problem. That's what friends are for. Yeah. But I do have a student that day, so, you know, I've got to be, um... I've got to be on my, on my game later in the day, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. That was a nasty <laughs> piece of wood to stick it here. That didn't go too far. I, no, with tip touch, I didn't get a catch. I pulled it away as usual. Usually, when you pull away a skew chisel, you leave, you leave the tip to catch. I'll pull the straight back then instead of twisting it. I did this time. Yeah. I'll leave that for that. a minute. Um, now, we'll undercut that one. Where's my spindle gouge? I know you have. I know you have, Darren. I'm still not turning a mushroom. <laughs> You're the only one of the Aussies that's mental enough to get up at 5 a.m. to come and watch the evening UK live. But right, I'm still not doing a mushroom. Michelle just came to pay me a visit in the workshop. The spindle gouge is blunt. I'm going to have to sharpen it, I think. Did you bring you a chocolate bar and a cup of tea? No, no cup of tea, no chocolate bar, no nothing. Just came empty-handed. Because <laughs> you called yeah. her cheap. I think she just came out to have a check to see if I get any more new tools. I think that's what she was up. Because you called her cheap. It's because yeah. I called her cheap. <laughs> I didn't call Michelle cheap at all. <laughs> Michael, Mike, look at Michael's comment. Michael's calling? Or Michael's calling? Michael Howe. <laughs> Michael Howe said, if I wanted to see three mushrooms, I'd have to put the earwings back on camera. Just oh. so. Oh, fair. great, Michael Howe. That's very so, nice. I Thank didn't hear that one. <laughs> Michael <laughs> said, if he wanted to see three mushrooms, he'd ask Terry to put the earwings back on camera. Just saying. <laughs> Lovely. That works for me. Ke kept in the dark and fed on compost. Hmm. Yeah, that's about right. Too low. Robert Robertson says, rule number seven, remove chisel when cut completed. That, yeah, I'm tr yes, that's the trouble, Robert. Is that as far down as rule seven, Robert? <laughs> oh, that is the problem. I can't get in there now with that. Da -da 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 -da. Small... Smaller spindle tiny, gauge. Tiny little, tiny little detail gauge. I've used that gauge. That's a lovely little gauge, that one. Until it goes like that, like, and you pull the end off. Is that a quarter inch one? Yeah. I think it might be three eight. I don't know. Tiny little thing. The only trouble is I can't. Back to my old favourite. 
So Darren Martin suggests Jules. he's not even going to go to bed, Mark. He's just going to stay up. <laughs> Mad, man. Mad. Yeah, yeah. Mad, I tell you. Mind you, I do that sort of stuff. Yeah, but we know you're on the Yeah, everyone knows I'm stupid. Ben Jam is agreeing with Michael. <laughs> it's funny, but also accurate. Yeah, I've had a five. Thanks, thanks, very, thanks very much, Ben. Chris Dodd says, you're lucky. It's compost. We use bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I use horse manure, actually. I use horse, oh, horse manure, actually, Chris. I don't want to take that, brother. Cheers. He says, I see some of your nighttime lads generally having a bad night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's when he can't sleep. That's a pain in the way, Rick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is it the turning that gives you a bad night, Robo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Let's take that off a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, chipped out there, look. Did you do something with that? That's that catch I had earlier. That's a catch I had earlier. Be a smaller mushroom than wouldn't it? It's going to have a smaller cap anyway, for sure. Yeah. Oh, I could do with a drink. I got a nice cup of coffee. My wife brought me down to the workshop. Oh, did she now? Huh? Yeah. Well done, Lisa. Nice glass of sugar free well, well done, Lisa. My, uh, my wife has just abandoned me today. It's fine. But you called her cheap. She's probably, abandoned you. Probably because I called her cheap, yeah. Oh, uh, well. Uh. Left no. them on the bases. <laughs> it's not safe to let me, to leave me to my own devices. I usually need adult supervision. Yeah, we thought that we came, but we couldn't find one. You look at an adult to supervise the shows. Yeah. No, I want to keep it on that one, don't I? Oh, keep it on that center. Move over to that center there. Methinks. If the timber will stand it. I don't think I would consent to be the adult to look after you bunch either. Michelle says, Brian, you have a kettle in a shed. Use it. Angry face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Nothing like being loved, is it? Oh, oh dear. Nothing like feeling loved. <laughs> Michelle, is I'm that in trouble? Is that... <coughs> Michelle, have you said that because he called you cheap? All right, I'll just get my own kettle out then. That's fine. I'm right side here for the tap and pull it from the, from the mine. Oh, I'll put the yeah. shed. I'll out. Fill the kettle up. Make me own tea, it's fine. It's okay. I don't mind. Beautiful shaving there, Terry. Plug the kettle in over here. What's happened to make my own tea? I don't know. <laughs> Shocking is all I can say. I bet she doesn't pick the clothes up you throw on the floor either, does she? No, nope, she does not. It's terrible. Terrible. <laughs> I have to do everything by myself now. <laughs> I suppose I'm getting much sympathy in this chat either. Oh, uh, you won't get any of that here. Time. time for an upgrade. <laughs> nah. nah. You know what they say about the devil, you know. It's true. <laughs> I 
Like, besides that, you need to be careful, Mark Beckett. You're coming over here this afternoon. Ben Chapman says, put in a formal complaint to the management, Brian. Although I have a feeling you may be ignored. <laughs> Terry? Yes? What's the grind angle on that skew? It's about 25. Yeah, it's open. quite short. Hmm. Yeah, it is quite short. I should lengthen that. The bevel. Yeah. yeah, I should lengthen it. Ah, Michelle's throwing your clothes out, Brian, did you know? She did, I. that was yesterday. Yeah, she kind of dragged me to the shops at the weekend, made me spend good money on clothes that I could have oh. spent on a tool. <sighs> £124 on new t-shirts, I have to say. The poor, poor thing. She made me do it, she made me do it, she dragged me. And then she promptly came home and says, right, get in that bedroom, and I thought, oh, I... All right, here we go. And then she said, open that wardrobe door and get some of them old T-shirts thrown in that black bag there. Oh. oh. So I had to throw out a whole lot of old T-shirts. She took them to the bin, the, the, the recycling centre this morning. There's, there's a very good suggestion there from Woodward and Paul. Are you, are you looking at this, Michelle? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read that <laughs> Brian, you may have to send Michelle to the school. Kettle's boiling. The only problem is I haven't got a cup or a tea bag out here. wonder would my darling Michelle bring me a cup of my, my cup and a, and a tea bag. What do you think? Um, what she's doing, she's putting hot water in it as well, isn't she? I've got the hot water. I've got plenty of hot water now. She's boiling. Yeah. Yeah, she could do it for you, man. My wife is um, better trained than yours, I've got to say. <sighs> no, she's when, just when said it comes no. to clothes shopping, she doesn't take me. She just oh, goes and buys stuff and gives it to yeah. me. Yeah. Or she'll buy it and put it in the wardrobe and, and I won't even know if she's got it. It's <laughs> Roger Mill says, drink it out of the spout. I need to make tea with it, guys. How am I going to do that? I'll go and get me home. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Gonna come back with a black eye. <laughs> gonna walk in the house and Michelle's just gonna go, Poof, call me cheap. <laughs> Go back in here, went for the hobby with a black eye. <laughs> How's that going, Way Scoop, working out for you, Terry? That's working out, train. It's a bit blunt now, mind. Uh, actually, I'm on the wrong axis for that. I'm going to trim that top up. Back in the middle. It's a knot right there, so I'm expecting it to go bang any second. Yeah, it won't. It'll be fine. Who knows, it's taken him a long time just to get a mug with a keypad in it. Yeah, there might be an ambulance needed. Sorry, I'll Because he's, lying on, the, cause he's lying on the floor and she's kicking crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm back. I forgot to uh, unmute my microphone there. Got my cup of tea. I just need my long nose pliers here just to remove this tea bag before I burn my finger. <laughs> <laughs> long nose pliers. Well, no spoons in the workshop, have I? <laughs> Use the long nose pliers. Save your fingers. There we go. Nice cup of tea, mate. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she says, 
Brian was all this running, it only took me 10 seconds to get to the kitchen, just saying, it didn't take me long, just that my microphone was muted. And Michelle's sitting in the house laughing her leg off, to be honest. Well, I've been her. She's in bits, she's kind of corpse. You remember how you were the other day, Terry, when you couldn't speak for laughing? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. That's where Michelle is, just at this moment in time. Okay. There's, there's a lot of talk in the chat about Brian should be finding a younger model. <laughs> Bit German. I've just said, you're all very brave. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm staying out of that conversation. <laughs> yeah, they're all very a very long way from Michelle and she doesn't know their address. That's the, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, that's, the, that's the trouble, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that's she hasn't problem. responded yet. Because she is watching. <laughs> Chris Dodd says, another use for a skew, stirring the tea. <laughs> I'd I, I to say this, the likelihood of Michelle killing one of you is very slim, but not zero. <laughs> I would say that's, uh, be afraid, be very yeah. afraid. <laughs> anyway, Chris has said, I'm afraid you in for a younger model. <laughs> Benjamin, you're so much trouble, big lad. Um, Benjamin said, wouldn't be hard to find somebody who's 85. Wait, hey, that's not what he said at all. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, I actually have Ben's address. Would you like me to message it to you? <laughs> oh, Ben, Michelle says, he has my permission. <laughs> oh, dear. Enough of this. Anyway, so we're getting to an interesting bit here, so... Shut here we up. are. Yeah. <laughs> watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. I haven't missed a bit of it yet. Pitching. All right. Nearly there. Caught the flying mushroom. Steve Fleming's got to go. See you later, Steve. Bye, Steve. Steve. Enjoy Bye. it. Have a good day. Oh. <laughs> did, did you drop that, Terry? No, I dropped my thing that takes a chuck out. I wanted to move the pan on the top uh, of the... See. I wanted to move the pan on top of said thing. <laughs> so I could put that on yeah, there. That was, that was all perfectly clear, Terry. There. I have to that move the pan on top of the thing. i got a magnetic kit. <laughs> Which is next to the dipper. on top of the leg, on top of the lathe. I have I one of those. It won't be a sec. i just got to cut this little piece off on the bandsaw from the tar second mushroom. Take your time, Terry. All right, stand <laughs> flat. Ben, ben is it now will. frantically going on Zoopla, putting his house on the market, <laughs> changing his name, getting, address. getting, a, getting his uh, plastic surgery organised. <laughs> ben Jarvis says, hang on a minute. My <laughs> remark was to Brian, not to Michelle. Too late. Right, here we are. Right, Which camera are we on there? Tracking. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, a field of mushrooms. Oh, oh look, I know. I know. Oh, oh, geez. Just pull the camera out. Sorry about that. Right, there. Yeah. And this one won't stand up yet because I've. It's not very, it's not very focused. Piece. It's not very well focused. It's not very well focused. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it might be. It might be me. It might be the camera. Could be anything. I don't know really. Yeah, well, Terry, you usually out of focus, mate. Yeah. This is, yeah. True. This is true. Okay, and let's do something different then. Take them off there. Put them down on the bed and lift. Put them down on the bed and lift. Move my tools. Move you that mean back. your tools have not been put back in the rack? Are you using them? <laughs> nope. I just give them at the rear end. Oh, I yeah. can't believe that. You don't believe that? I thought Good you were more organised than that, Terry. <laughs> Good advice there from Darren to Ben. Ben, go commit a crime, then get into witness protection. It's cheaper. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Dee, Michelle dee, said they're dee, lovely, Terry. With a Thank you, darling. Face. With a kissy Mich face. Oh, what oh, is well she done. looking for? Well done, Michelle. See, somebody can turn on Michelle, you know, if Brian can't. Yeah. I can't get that one to stand up now, but there we are. Oh, we wouldn't know. We can't see it. We can't no. see a thing there. Uh, it's a red chair. There we go. Okay. That's it. Oh, we just lie down, Terry. It'll be fine. There you go. Lovely, Terry. Well done, mate. 
Excellent. Well done. Very nice. Three uh, mushrooms. Really, Bailey's Woodwork says, is that the red chair from Pee Wee's Playhouse? May well be. That's why they normally come out of the bottom and they leave a furry piece. Oh, well, I'm sure you drawings and things, but they, See, they leave have, a... Have you noticed on the, on the chair, guys, the, the leg extensions on the bottom so as he gets up to the right height for the lid? Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spotted that one. So, oh, I can't find oh, it. What you, what you can't see, yeah, just out of shot, is the stepladder he uses to get up on the chair. <laughs> I don't think you can see it better with that or not. I think you can see it better there now. I don't know. Maybe. Not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. Excellent, Terry. Well done, mate. That's a really good track. Dusting off now. Making a noise in my ear. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Terry. Clown's back up on chair. <laughs> Change his camera. Change his camera and says hi. Here we are, ben, people. Ben, Change his glasses as well. So I can't see anything start, now. Uh, ben says, excellent work, Terry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, on Brian. Hang on, you're, uh, you're being as Dalek again now. Oh, Clever, like Dalek, 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 Dalek. Dalek. Say it in now. Sorry, uh, ben Jalman says, excellent work, Terry. Mark might have taken inspiration for his life tonight. Uh, uh, can you try that now, Mark? Because I can't hear him. Oh, you can't. Oh, so it's <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> Uh, oh, ben here, says, your headset? Mark, have I taken inspiration for you from my life tonight? I could have done, but I've chosen nope, not to. You're all gone to me, so maybe my internet bad signal. It's your headset. <laughs> it's not my headset. Not all. normally a bad signal, so uh, I don't know. Can't hear what you're saying. It's going. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Try again. Hello, Terry. Can you hear us? Hello, Terry. We can hear everybody else. It's just you, Terry. It's just me. Okay. You're back now. You're back now. You're back now. Sorry. I can hear you now. Hear you, All I got was Ben said. Ben said, did I take any inspiration from your life to do in my life tonight? And I said, uh, no, I didn't. No. <laughs> You're doing a giant mushroom, aren't you? Remember? No. Yeah. Just stop saying don't go. Okay. Well, there we are, people. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining me and my tribe today. Tribe being this lot. <laughs> this lot. Christian what do you Pete, mean, this lot? Hobbit's assistant. Right. Only because he's a bloody giant. My cup of tea. Brian, not Mark, is with his cup of tea. And Mark, the general, Wood Turner. Thank you for helping me out, team. And thank you, chat, for coming in. Whoever you are, I've got all the names in here somewhere. I'll I've read got it back a final later. Question. A final question. For Brian and Mark. The have you got your balls question. moving yet? No. Where am I? No. Hold on. They still got the balls stuck in the cans. Okay, well, just in well, case you didn't know, just 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 to give you you know, just to so you don't get upset. All right, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let you hear one. Okay. See, I've got one of those too, Terry. I've got one of those. Look, one of those parts, cheap part side ones. This is a nice Halfers yeah. one, and it doesn't. Nice work. Halfers one. Don't come with the ball. You can sell it's run. nice, expensive. Don't come with the ball. Doesn't need Cheapest it. Chip. Anyway, not to worry. Thank you, people. Thank Bye -bye. you, everybody in the chat, for joining us today. And I think I'm here next Monday. So mm -hmm. occasionally I'll be back. You I'm are sure here you until until the twentieth. There you are. See, Brian knows my diary better than me. So Brian is doing uh, my live on the 20th. I'll just put that in there and just in case he tries to weasel out of it by the time he gets back, you see. I'll be with him. Next Shirley, time. Shirley Helen Twig says she just likes it when Terry says curly whirly. Curly whirly. There you go. You like a curly whirly. Shirley. Shirley likes a curly whirly, didn't Shirley? She does. Don't keep calling me Shirley not. Shirley, Shirley okay. does. Thank you, team. <laughs> Thank you, chat. See you next Monday. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, Thanks for coming.